So here I have finding horizontal and vertical asymptotes. Uh, and it says graph all vertical and horizontal asymptotes. So we already know for the vertical asymptotes, we're going to take the denominator and equal it to zero. This one I can factor pretty easily. So I get x equal to three and x equal to negative two. This is for the vertical asymptote. Um, so if I want to graph this, it'd be one, two, three, one, two. And I'd have a vertical asymptote here and a vertical asymptote there. And then for the horizontal asymptote, I have to talk about degrees. So the degree of the numerator is equal to zero because there's no x's. And the degree of the denominator equals two because there's two terms with x's, but this is the higher exponent. So I do have the case where um, the numerator is smaller, okay? And when the numerator is smaller, there's a horizontal asymptote automatically at y equals zero, which is on top of the x-axis. So I have this as my horizontal asymptote. Now over here, when I try to do my vertical asymptote, I have to take x squared plus four equal to zero. I get x squared equal to negative four. I get x equals plus or minus the square root of negative four, which is two i. You cannot graph imaginaries. So what that means is that there will be no vertical asymptotes to graph. Okay? Then now I'm going to talk about my horizontal asymptotes. So the degree of the numerator equals zero because there's no x's. The degree of the denominator equals two. And so then I do have a case where the numerator is less than the denominator. So the horizontal asymptote is automatically at y equals zero, which means when I graph this one, I'm only going to graph the horizontal asymptote at y equals zero because it had no vertical asymptotes. Now here we're going to take this one. So for the vertical asymptote, I'm going to take x squared minus four equal to zero. So x squared equals positive four, x equals plus or minus the square root of four, which is plus or minus two. So I have two vertical asymptotes. I have one at positive two and then I have one at negative two. Now for the horizontal asymptote, I'm going to take the degree of the numerator, which equals um, higher one is two, and the degree of the denominator is also a power two. And so then these guys are the same. When they're the same, the horizontal asymptote is at y equals <clears throat> the leading coefficient of the numerator over the leading coefficient of the denominator, which when I simplify, I just get two. So then I'm gonna have a horizontal asymptote at the value y equal to two, which is up there. Now the last one, if I do my vertical asymptotes, I'm going to set um, my denominator equal to zero. that for me visually is about negative 2.5. And then for my horizontal asymptotes, the degree of the numerator is actually equal to two and the degree of the denominator is equal to one. And in this case, this is not a case of horizontal asymptotes. The only time I'm gonna have a horizontal asymptote is if the degree of the top is smaller or if the degree of the top and bottom is the same. When the numerator is bigger than the denominator, you have no horizontal asymptote. You do have an asymptote, it's a different kind of asymptote though, okay? It's not horizontal. And we'll talk about that other kind very soon, probably in the next couple topics coming up. So when I'm graphing this, it only asked me for vertical and horizontal asymptotes and that's it okay so i'm going to graph the vertical one one two three so it's at negative 2.5 but i'm not going to graph any horizontal asymptotes because it literally asked me for just the vertical and horizontal asymptotes 